What you doing? What you doing, honey? Playing with the rocks? You playing with the rocks? You like playing with the rocks, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you say we make you a sandbox? Huh? What do you think we make you a sandbox? So, I think it's a good time to make her a sandbox. She really loves playing with the rocks. So, uh, this little area right here, just right here, is always pretty shady, uh, which is nice because summer's coming up. So, when we come outside, at least we'll still have some shade. So, I'm thinking about making a sandbox t maybe today. I'll get some measurements. Um, this is kind of where water should flow out. So um, I probably build the sandbox actually right over the rocks so water can flow under it still if need be. So yeah, looks like we're making a sandbox today. What's up guys, so we're in the car, we're headed to Home Depot. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you the plans that I came up with, so I'll flash it on the screen. Um, these plans, is I can't take total credit for them, you know, I kind of just see um, these sandboxes with the built-in benches and everything and covers on, you know, there's pop, they're popular on Pinterest or um, YouTube, things like that, so. Um, you know, I just kind of watched a bunch of videos, looked at a bunch of people's different plans, kind of picked and choose from there, things I liked, things I didn't like, um, and we're going to kind of make it our own. Um, they're all pretty much the same, so uh, it's not like I'm changing anything real drastic or anything. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, our goal at Home Depot is to get the guys there to cut it for us. Um, if I can get every, if I can get them to make all the cuts, that'd be great. It's really only eight cuts that I need to make there. Uh, I can cut the two by fours because that's something I don't need to pick up. I already have them at, at home. Um, I, I can cut those, you know, by myself. That's only a couple more cuts. So hopefully, I can get them to make the eight cuts for us. It's easier to load into the Forerunner. Um, easier on me that way. When I get home, I can just assemble basically. Um, but there's our shopping list down there. Uh, maybe I'll type up a kind of instructions on how to do it. But other than that, we'll see you at Home Depot. Uh. All right, we're here picking up the. It comes with screws too. So we got the strapping hinge, strap hinge. These come with screws, which is awesome. We don't gotta buy an extra box of screws. Cool. And right here's the handles. Just need two of these. And we're good. Say hi. So we're loading up. Um, we were lucky enough to get the lady to cut the wood for us, so it's gonna be a pretty easy project. Hey guys, so we're back at home. We are in the backyard. We got everything set. All the cuts are done. Um, we're gonna get cracking on building this thing and hopefully we're done by lunch. Okay, so the section we are building now, working on, um, is this section. So it's just, I'm thinking of it in three parts. So there's that two in the back, 
Those are stable, they don't move, they're static. There is this second section which we're working on now. It's held down to the base by these two um, hinges here and this becomes the bottom of the seat. So when you flip this up there, that's actually where the person will be sitting. Um, it's doubled up so it's a lot more stable. Um, there's even these two little uh, arm rests, I guess you would call it. Um, and so that's the seat. So now we're going to work on the back side, um, which is going to connect here. So it's two more pieces, one, two, and then it'll be connected by hinges as well. And it'll all just fold up and over. Then we got to do same thing on the other side. So um, I'll show you the the back side when we're done. All right, guys. So we're getting rained on here. Um, we're gonna have to pack it up for today, but. We got at least half of it done, so you can see here, this is what, this is the finished half, unfinished half. So what will happen is I gotta put the handle on here. We'll be able to lift this up. And it'll be like a seat. Just like that. So. Let's lift it up. just like a seat. All right, but it's raining, so we'll finish another time. All right, guys, so we are finishing the, uh, the sandbox today, and we're actually making a design change. So the missus had a good idea about making one side, instead of it being a bench, being um, more like a... Uh, activity board. Activity board, so like a chalkboard, I'm gonna make it so she can maybe hang up some of her toys there. Um, so we're gonna go exchange some things at Home Depot and well, hopefully we'll get it done today. All right guys, we just got back from Home Depot and we picked up a bottom for the sandbox and then the actual sand. Um, the sand is probably gonna be the most expensive part of the whole project. So it's about anywhere from five to six bucks per bag, per 50 pound bag, and it just depends on, um, it really just depends on how much sand you want in the box. For our size box, if we wanted it four or five inches thick, it'll be 11 bags of sand, so we're a little bit short there. Uh, we're gonna test this out and kinda see how it goes. If we need more, we'll get more. But now is the hard part, hauling all this stuff to the backyard, so uh, stick stick around and we'll hopefully be finishing this thing up today all right Hand truck's broken. Has to resort to just uh, old-fashioned manual labor. We'll get it done. Um, yeah. All right. So update. We got the base down. Okay. Here's the uh, bench. Check it out. This is gonna be like that. Folds up. That's the bench. And on this side, it's actually going to be kind of one big piece that kind of props up against the wall. And that'll be like the activity board side. Now, all I'm going to do right now is I got these extra uh, brick pavers. Just kind of going to kind of level it out and put a support in the middle. You can already see she is eager to get in here. <laughs> and there's our new pup, Cooper. And the missus. All right, here we go. Here's the sandbox. Finished it yesterday, then it kind of started to rain a little bit. Didn't really get to play with it today, 
but she loves it. The dogs love it. Especially our puppy Cooper. Wow, what are you making? Sand pies. Sand pies. Had me we are building a sandbox and I forgot the sand so we'll be going back to Home Depot at some point uh, all right let's 